Hi, everybody. My name is Matt Haynes. I'm an audiobook narrator, and um, I like to stay informed with different accents that are out there. So 2018, my goal is one accent per month, and I'm a little late on this one, but it is worth the wait because accent number four for this year is Pittsburgh, and I'm splitting it into two sounds. Uh, one is what I would deem to be urban, and the other is suburban, aka Fred Rogers, who we are going to study. We're going to mostly focus on uh, Pittsburgh city proper, I, I suppose. Um, we're going to study pronunciation, resonance, and we're going to then apply that stuff uh, using lyrics to a popular couple of songs, which is a technique I highly recommend. Ta-da! And we have here the Matt Tune. This is a picture of me. I normally wear glasses. And just to show you what I'm finding I'm doing as I'm practicing this accent, um, I'm keeping most of the sound up here in the uh, nasal area, but then leaving li lots of flexibility in the lip and lower jaw, and also keeping my cheeks fairly stiff. Okay, so pronunciation tip number one is the O sound going into an E, O, E, O, or even going into something like an E, O. Um, uh, so if we take the lyrics, floating like a butterfly, we go into floating like a butterfly. Now we go from the OO sound to the EW sound, or even more of a pseudo-Swedish E uh, sound. So dancing through the fire would be dancing through the fire. And we've got the pretty typical phenomenon of the ING getting cut off into a shortened IN. So floating and dancing would become floating and dancing. And speaking of dancing, um, the AN an has more of that twang to it, an, um, so it'd be dancing, and that's usually when it's followed by an N or an M. Voice TH, th, becomes a D. Uh, voiceless TH, th, becomes something more like a T. Um, so, through the fire becomes something more like through the fire. Huge one, and one of my favorite distinctions with this accent is the ow sound actually becomes closer to an ah sound, just a just a completely non-diphthong ah sound. So um, you held me down would become something more like you held me down. The ah sound tends to become closer to an aw oh sound. Don't want to overdo it, but I seen it all becomes something closer to I seen it all. The R tends to be pretty hard. Butterfly becomes butterfly. Here's something I'm hearing. Uh, a sharp rise and fall occasionally on the last word or the last couple of syllables of a sentence. And uh, this is crazy, but it sounds to me almost like somebody tattling on somebody else. Uh, Jenny was sleeping. So I've seen it all. I've seen it now. Could be. I've seen it all. I've seen it now. Now let's uh, talk about Mr. Rogers. There's two movies coming out about Mr. Rogers, uh, one a documentary and one the uh, uh, much anticipated Tom Hanks one. So uh, let's take a look here. A couple of things that I'm hearing that differ a bit from the urban Pittsburgh accent. Fred Rogers uh, comes from a suburb outside of Pittsburgh and of course worked in Pittsburgh for, uh, for his career. But what I'm hearing with him is the I sound tends to become an ah, um, I like you. Um, the E sound uh, becomes an E, uh, which I associate almost with tex, uh, Texan or something like that. So me would be me. Um, the A sound uh, tends to become an A. Um, and the THs and INGs are back. So this, that, thinking. And now we put it all together. First style with Katy Perry's Roar and the second style with Firework. Nah, I'm floating like a butterfly, stinging like a bee, I earn my stripes. I went from zero to my own hero. You held me down, but I got up, already brushing off the dust. You hear my voice, you hear that sound, like thunder gonna shake the ground. You held me down, but I got up. Get ready, cause I've had enough. I seen it all, I seen it now. I got the eye of the tiger, a fighter, dancing through the fire, cause I am the champion and you're gonna hear me roar. I'm loud, loud like a lion, because I am the champion, and you're going to hear me roar. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Don't you know? 
there's still a chance for you. There's a spot for you. You've just got to ignite the light and let it shine. Just own the night like the 4th of July, because baby, you're a firework. And that was Roar and Firework from Katy Perry. Music by Kevin McLeod, who allows people to use this essentially public domain. So thank you very much, Kevin. Was this accent video accurate? Somewhat. You'll also notice that I uh, didn't include any of the particular Pittsburgh uh, words or uh, dialect elements because uh, I'm just focusing on accent for this one. But along those lines, uh, this video is really a beginning. Uh, if you have experience with the Pittsburgh accent, put, uh, put your ideas in the comments. And I will see you later this month.